Hey you guys, it's Britt. Tonight we're here with a quick little update on Gypsy Rose's Lifetime Reality show that she has been filming. I came across this article. I thought it was interesting. So I figured why not jump on, share with y'all, and yeah, we'll talk about it. So if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so this article comes from Yahoo Entertainment, and it says Gypsy Rose Blanchard reportedly staying clear of her ex even on camera. Gypsy Rose Blanchard will no longer be filming her reality TV series with her estranged husband, Ryan Anderson, following their separation. Producers have removed Anderson from the show, Gypsy Rose Life After Lockup, and are only interested in documenting Blanchard's life moving forward. Anderson believes that a call from Blanchard ex-fiance played a part in their separation, suspecting it was a calculated move to re reinsert himself into her life. The former convict who filed for divorce last week will no longer be filming her reality TV series with her ex-spouse. News of their separation comes days after sources claimed Anderson believes someone close to Blanchard played a crucial role in their split. According to insiders, Blanchard has not shot a single scene with her estranged lover following their separation, and it's not going to change for the foreseeable future. Production sources for Gypsy Rose Life After Lockup explain that the former couple has not been on set together for the show's second season. Unlike the first program, which detailed parts of their relationship, the new series will only focus on Blanchard's life. Although they aren't filming together, insiders noted cameras capture their fallout. This appears to be the only scene featuring the pair as they no longer live together and are moving in different directions. Despite Gypsy Rose Blanchard and Anderson's perceived differences, sources claim the former couple never asked to be filmed separately. Surprisingly, the media personality's estranged bow was removed from production heads. Producers gave Anderson a one-on-one -on -one shoot to wrap up his part in the show, but that was all the extension he got as they were only interested in documenting Blanchard's life. The production for the show is still ongoing, but sources noted it will be soon it will soon be concluded, marking the final chapter for Anderson and Blanchard on screen. And then it summarizes, you know, how long they were together, it goes over the Ken stuff. So I'm really interested to see what did the cameras capture? Did they capture a big blow up fight? Did they capture, um, you know, text messages that Gypsy was sending to Ken? Did they capture Ryan being um, really abusive towards Gypsy? I cannot wait to see these clips when they come out. I will be watching. And I just think that this is another chapter of what the hell did Gypsy Rose do? What did she do with her life after lockup? I feel like I am in a different form of prison. Gypsy Rose's ex-husband Ryan Anderson has just posted something on Instagram and I'm a little bit concerned. Like in my opinion, this is not the post of somebody that is okay mentally. As you guys know, Gypsy Rose Blanchard filed for divorce from Ryan Anderson after just three months of living together. Parties are claiming completely different reasons for the dissolution of the marriage. Gypsy Rose claims that she was completely unaware of Ryan Anderson's food hoarding issues. Add even more fuel to the fire, the former couple also allegedly fought about the way they slept that night, with Anderson snoring and becoming a human furnace. Ryan claims that it is none of these issues, but in fact, her reconnection with ex-fiance Ken Urker. I find to be a lot more believable. Like when you get married and make your vows, you agree to stay together in sickness and in health, even if that means that you are overheating. Love your partner regardless. This is why I'm concerned about Ryan. First of all, this photo. I have never seen such sadness in someone's eyes like this. The caption simply says, new pick dot dot dot. I feel like a lot of people online have been cruel and unkind to Ryan, and maybe I can fall into that category as well. At the end of the day, this is a very heartbroken man who was in love with somebody, waited for somebody to be released from prison to start a life with them, and if it worked out the way he wanted to. What do you guys think? Are you team Ryan or are you team Gypsy? This could have been 
I talk about, not often, but kind of often, these golden opportunities that are given to public figures. It's like, here's everything you need on a gold platter with his silver spoon attached to it. And they fumble the bag and they blow it to smithereens. And I don't understand it. There are so many people who work on social media for years and years and years. And they don't build 15% of the following that Gypsy Rose has or um, any other influencer. But this is about Gypsy right now. I just don't understand, aside from the intellectual struggles that she has, what else could be the reason? I almost think she's being toxic on purpose. Do you all agree with that? Do you disagree? Um, I think that she had a really good opportunity and blew it. And I also will say, as a total side note, I think that her stepmother and her father are a little sketchy as well. Maybe I'll discuss that in an upcoming video, but for now I will just say I think they're a little weird and it's giving untrustworthy. But either way, I wanted to share this update about um, this, you know, I guess what might be exciting content coming soon. We'll just have to wait and see, but that's gonna be it for today. So if you like the video, please leave a like in the comments. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.